Hello everyone, this is Nader Mansour. As we are all facing this coronavirus pandemic and most of us are in isolation at home, I want to invite you to a special season of prayer. There is much fear, anguish and pain during this time. People are losing work, income and even their loved ones. The future seems uncertain for so many people. As a body of believers, there is an opportunity for us here and now to unite together as one body in prayer and supplication and intercession. There is real power when God's people pray together. And this will be a prayer wave. First of all, I want to share with you how and when we will have this prayer season and then what we will be praying for unitedly. So, this is the plan. We are going to have a worldwide prayer chain we will have two sessions of prayer during the Sabbath of April 11, 2020. The first session is at 7 p.m. on Friday evening, that's April 10, at your local time. The second session will be at 7 a.m. the next morning, Sabbath morning, that's April 11, also at your local time. The idea is to surround the world with a double wave of prayer that moves around the globe from one time zone to the next at 7 p.m and 7 a.m. This way, we will encircle the world with a dual band of prayers. The plan is to have one hour, either alone or with others who are with you, praying, and then the prayer moves on. So, what will we be praying for? There are five main points and prayer requests that we want to cover. Number one, we want to pray for people who are affected at this time, people who are sick and those who are suffering the loss of loved ones. Also those who are suffering the loss of work or income and are in distress. I know people who have had to bury their loved ones because of this virus. We will be interceding on all of their behalf. Number two, we will pray for the doctors and nurses who are overloaded at hospitals all over the world. They are under an incredible amount of pressure and stress being at the front line of this tragedy. I personally know a number of health workers who are involved in this heroic effort and they sure need our prayers. Number three, we will pray for the leaders of the nations that they may lead wisely at this time. Not just your leaders in your country, but the other countries as well. Leaders and governments at this time are stressed and mistakes are being made. Let us pray for God's Spirit to touch the hearts and give wisdom to the leaders to make wise, effective decisions. This is not about political opinion on what you feel about politics at this time. This is about the real need for God's influence on leaders and those on authority making national decisions. Number four, we will pray for this season to pass quickly. That this virus will not be a threat hanging over our heads for an indefinite time, but that God will work a miraculous intervention according to His will and that this time will be a means of waking people up to the reality of eternal things, not just for a season, but to give their life to Christ and be in His kingdom. So we will pray for the relief of this trouble and the expanding of the kingdom of God. Number five, we don't know what the future holds or what the world will be like after this pandemic. Let us pray that God will overrule the plans of Satan and his agenda. We will pray that the gospel will not be hindered and that whatever laws and regulations may follow this event will be such that all may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So we will pray for God's will and grace to abound and bind Satan's efforts. So these are our five prayer points. They are big requests, but our God is bigger than this problem. His promise is ask and it shall be given. I want to invite you to be part of this special season of prayer. We will all be praying for the same thing. Please share this plan with others so that everyone can be part of this experience. Please join with us on April 10 and 11 at 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. at your local time. One hour of prayer in the evening and in the morning. It's just over a week away. Please mark your calendar, set your alarm and spread the word. As you pray, keep in mind that your brothers and sisters in the next time zone will be starting their prayer after you, and the prayer will roll around the world like a wave, like runners in a race passing the baton of prayer to the next runner. 
I'm excited as I picture that in my mind. A double wave of prayers for a troubled world at this time. We will be praying to the one true God in the name of His only begotten Son. Please spread the word and share this invitation with as many people as you can. We might be in isolation from each other, but we can all meet before the throne in prayer together. Let us send up a barrage of united prayers and crowd the heavenly sanctuary with our intercessions for this troubled world. God promised to hear and heal our land when we do that. Let us influence the course of history at this time of global crisis. May the grace of God be with each one of you through the Spirit of His only begotten Son. In Jesus' name, Amen.